What is up you guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in this one we're going to be doing something a little bit different, we haven't done this in the channel, well uh, we've done it once but it was a while ago so we're going to be doing it again and in this one we're going to be doing a reaction video so I hope you guys enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, know, do all that fun stuff and let's get right into the video, enjoy. All right, before we get into the video, uh, if you guys are brand new, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, you know, do all that fun stuff again. In this channel, I post videos on personal finance, investing, stocks, test related videos. But anyways, the video we have here today is called Living on $25,000 a Year in Greater Baltimore slash Millennial Money. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started with the video. I saw the student loan hit 30,000 and at that point, I realized I need to sit back and really think about what I want out of life, what I want to achieve and what direction I want to go before I stack up another thirty, forty thousand dollars in student loan debt. I'm Jerome Gillespie. I'm 23 years old. I live in Baltimore, Maryland, and I make twenty-five thousand a year. All right, before we continue, I do want to search up the average income in Baltimore just because I don't know. You know, in California, it's something like 50000 something like that. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm just guessing here. But, you know, let's search up the average income. Here we go. Average income in Baltimore. Baltimore. Here, let's go and see. So it's $29,000 on oh, $30,000. Let's just say $30,000. And he's making twenty five. dollars So a little bit below that. But, I mean, he's, he's doing okay. So I'm a manager of a tax office and also I do Uber and Lyft. This year, since I was only doing pretty much taxes, that kind of lowered my income because believe it or not, I actually make more money doing Uber and Lyft a lot of the times than when I do doing taxes. The tax season got extended, so I was doing that more often, but I really like doing taxes though because it gives me more knowledge or, you know, human capital, so to speak. So that can actually help me in my future more than probably, you know, doing Uber and Lyft can. You know what, that's actually pretty surprising. I would have guessed that he made more money being a tax manager, but he's making more money on Uber and Lyft. Uh, makes me wonder how much money he's making. I guess the only piece of advice that I have that I maybe I can give uh, is maybe he can start making his own company, you know, start getting clients. Because if you're working for a company, you're just gonna be limited to the hourly wage that you get. So maybe it's 14, maybe in like a year, it's gonna be $15, you know, maybe a couple of cents more. But you know, overall, I would advise him to start building up his clientele. Uh, maybe he can leverage his YouTube channel. He has around 13,000 subscribers. He can start getting Fights that way, but uh, yeah, that's my I guess that's my two cents, but let's continue. I like the song, by the way. Seeing an eviction notice or like getting the lights or electric turned off, it didn't really bother me because I knew that they were going to be coming back on sometime soon. But to me, I felt like those were just things that happen every once in a while. Perhaps maybe that was the reason why ever since I was a little, little kid, I was extremely frugal and tight with my money. This is a nice town, has a nice scenery, but the people in that area were very, very racist growing up. It did definitely hurt my confidence as a person. When you're raised there for so long, you start to think that that's kind of just how the entire everyone is. And I realized that that's not really the case and that I slowly but surely over time regained that confidence that was lost from being there. I was living with my uh, girlfriend at the time and her roommate didn't want me there. So to keep the peace, I, I really had nowhere else to go because I was waiting to move in with my brother. I had to sleep in my uh, 1993 Firebird Pontiac and it uh, was very small. The window was broke. So it kind of started getting cold in August and September. I was going to class, I was working in the afternoons and I was sleeping in my car at night. At the end of the day, it gave me a wonderful opportunity to save money. Another thing I did to save money 
was um, I started eating once a day. So at first I did this just to save money because I just didn't have a lot of money coming in and I was spending money on books and stuff like that. And I wanted to save money up so I can get my own apartment, get out the living room. So uh, I'm glad that he's tracking his money because I know for a fact that he does. I've seen some of his videos recently and I know that he has a, a spreadsheet where he does this. I would advise all of you guys, if you guys want to keep track, keep a budget, you know, definitely do it that route. And for me, I feel like I need to do that 100%. If you guys want to see a video on that, let me know. But, uh, you know, good on him for saving his money and tracking it. Let's continue. But what I did with that money that I saved on food is I, I started investing in uh, stocks and ETFs and stuff like that. So that money started to grow. So I wasn't just holding on to that money, but I was growing that money. And eventually I used that money that, I, that was growing to pay down debt and other stuff like that. Okay, it's good that he's saving his money and also investing it. You know, the investing part is the important one because I know a lot of people who just save their money. They have a lot of money in their savings account, but you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You want to put that money into an investment. You know, if you don't know too much about investing, just put it into an S&P 500, like he said. I, I think he said that. But uh, yeah, don't have it in an investing account because it's just going to lose value over time. I don't really consider myself as a budgeter. I don't really budget. I just have a natural tendency to not want to spend money. But as far as tracking things, I do try to track all of my income and my expenses on like an income statement. And then also I do a balance sheet at the end of every month. I recently started categorizing my expenses and also I kind of track how much increase and decrease each of my asset categories and liability categories have grown over the course of the year. And I also track my savings rates. I had like almost no money in the bank account. I had like $40. That was like in 2017. I just decided that I was never gonna have less than $100 in my bank account ever again in my life. I just started buying stocks and I just started researching companies and trying to figure out what I need to do to make intelligent investments. Eventually I learned about a Roth IRA and basically the Roth IRA was another thing that I started putting money into. I mean, it seemed like a wonderful deal. I love making tax-free money, so I decided just to put money in there. All right, let me just say this. Having a Roth IRA is super, super important, especially if you're a college student. If you guys are college students, sign up for one like now, like yesterday, because it's super important. It allows for you to grow your money tax-free. And when you turn 60 something, 65, I believe, you're, you're allowed to take out that money tax-free. And also if you're a college student, if you have money in a Roth IRA, colleges don't see that. So for example, myself, I have $20,000 sitting in a Roth IRA. I have $200 sitting in my checkings account. And guess what? At the end of the year, colleges are gonna give me more money because they can't see my Roth IRA. So basically it's an incognito way to save you money, to make you money and to grow your money. So why not make it? You guys should definitely make one. I'm gonna put the link in the description. It's not an affiliate link. It's just, just make one. Okay, nice, nice, nice. When I was uh, in eighth grade, I uh, was diagnosed with, uh, with a heart condition that was potentially deadly. And the doctor said that if you, know, if you exercise real hard, you could die at any moment. So I continued exercising hard. I continued living my life the way that I wanted to live my life. I never really thought that I would make it past high school because you know, in eighth grade, they told me that I could die at any moment. After that situation happened and I actually got to the point where I was graduating high school, I was kind of like in shock because I never really thought about what I wanted to do after high school. So I kind of just went into college like with just empty handed, not really thinking about what I had wanted to do throughout high school. I kind of went undecided. I decided to go with Spanish because I could graduate in like two semesters. But I just, I didn't feel like Spanish was really what it was going to help me get to where I was going in life. And it just didn't seem like that would be a very good return on investment. I saw the student loan hit 30,000. And at that point, I really, I realized I need to sit back and really think about what I want out of life, what I want to achieve and what direction I want to go before I stack up another 30, $40,000 in student loan debt.
he probably has like maybe a semester maybe maybe two quarters i don't know maybe two quarters left to finish to get his degree so i would advise for him to go back because he has a little bit left and maybe he doesn't like spanish which is totally fine but you know maybe he can start preparing towards a different major maybe computer science maybe accounting whatever he likes because he's still young and i can definitely tell he's a hard worker just by the way that he makes his videos and the way that he presents himself in the video i may go back to college i know uber has this program if you hit 3,000 rides they might pay for online college for you so i want to see if that's real or legit to see what's going on with that and if they do that i might go back for and try to get an accounting degree but other than that I, i'm not 100 100 sure it's very costly and i feel very confident in myself that i can build a good amount of wealth with or without a degree I figured the interest rate was 3.75%. I could almost guarantee, based off my calculations, get a higher return on investment than 3.75%, either with Uber and Lyft or some other endeavor. $95 a month, that's not too bad, but for 30 years, I'm a little concerned about that. I plan to stop driving for Uber and Lyft as soon as I possibly can. I want to move on to something that is probably a little bit more lucrative and that makes a little bit more money. I would like to actually get into software engineering and, and also maybe at somewhere down the line get an accounting degree perhaps and work in that field as well. I want to have enough investment income to cover my monthly expenses plus be able to save 50% of my income thereafter. But another big investment goal is I want to buy my first piece of real estate. Right now, I pretty much have everything that I could want and enjoy in life. I have a family and friends that I enjoy and that I care about. So I really can't have much to complain. The only thing I don't have is just financial freedom completely, like investment income enough to cover my expenses and you know, or passive income enough to cover my expenses. And that's only really my next goal is just to have enough passive income. But everything else in life, I pretty much already have. The only thing that income could do is help me reach that goal a little bit faster. Right about now, I am thanking myself every single day for that decision that I made to sleep on that couch, to eat once a day, to live that lifestyle so I don't have to live that lifestyle ever again. Alright, so that was the end of the video. I absolutely loved it. He seems like a great guy. Maybe we can have him on the channel, you know, who knows? But let me know in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys did, maybe I'll continue to make more of them. But uh, with that said, that pretty much sums up everything. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, love stories, let me know in the comment section below. And also, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, you know, do all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Cause it's ain't from my soul